Hello, um, today I'm going to be doing a uh, tutorial showing you how to downgrade your iPod Touch 1G, 2G or 3G even though some people think that this isn't a third generation iPod even though it is the 2009-2010 uh, model of 8GB um, I don't know why people think there isn't a 3G, I'm pretty sure that is, but whatever um, so yeah, so Recently I upgraded my 3.1.2 stupidly to 3.1.3 without realising that there's no jailbreak at this time that can jailbreak it. Um, apart from if you have an iPhone uh, running on 3.1.3 then you can use the new Snowbreeze, uh, which is the new April release, and that can jailbreak it. Um, just nothing for the iPod. So, I was then... Um, trying to find out how to downgrade it from 3.1.3 to 3.1.2 and I found a solution which I'm going to share with you today There's, I tried so many other things and it just completely failed so follow this one and you will succeed and you won't get all those crappy iTunes errors that I kept on getting saying like this cannot be valid with Apple or some crap so yeah anyway what you first need to do is go to uh, open up your browser and you want to open up a site called this, which is www.felixbrums.de forward slash iPod forward slash firmware forward slash. Uh, I'll put the link in the description, don't worry. Okay, so then this second tab here, this one here, um, you want to scroll right down to the bottom. And not, don't choose the i iPod Touch 3G, it doesn't matter if you have a 3G or a 2G, for some reason only the 2G one works for the, for the 3G and 2G. So you want to find iPod Touch 2G 3.1.2 forward slash 7D11, it's that one there. So you click that, and then click download, and then Mega Upload comes up, just type in the, the code there which is hp e and then download the file wait 40 45 seconds um okay so once you've downloaded that you should have this here i'll move it to the desktop you should have this um this is the one you need it, it should say ipod 2 uh, bracket or no not bracket uh, apostrophe one underscore three point one point two underscore seven d eleven underscore restore. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to open up iTunes. Right then. Next thing you need to do is with your iPod. You need to get the uh, cable, come with it, put it in the USB, and it comes on, as you know, wait for uh, iTunes to detect it, okay, it's found it there, just backing it up. Thinking and all that crap. Okay, what you need to do is on your iPod, right here, you're going to right click it, press back up, and then what you want to do is it's completely up to you whether you want to do this part or not because some sometimes it, it works for people, sometimes it doesn't. Um, works absolutely fine either way I think I'm not gonna do it though but I'll show you how to do it and um, what you want to do is you want to hold down the home and the lock at the same time until 
um, the screen goes off, you'll probably hear a sound. And then you let go, while still holding the home, you let go of the, uh, the lock and hold this for, I think it's five or six seconds. And then it can, and then it will pop back up onto iTunes. Wait for it, and then a message will come up on iTunes saying, uh, before you can can continue, blah, 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 you must restore. Okay, so the next thing that you do is, uh, for Mac users, I believe it's Apple, or Options, or Control, whatever that button is. You hold that, but for Windows, um, you hold down Shift. And then you hold down shift and then you click restore and you can actually navigate to the file you downloaded earlier so I think mine was on the desktop which is there and you click that and you literally click open and then you do iTunes will erase and restore your iPod to 3.1.2 software and will verify verify the restore with Apple you click restore which I'm not going to do because I've already done it you click restore and um, it will extract it. You won't get the error that I kept on getting with the 3G one that I kept on downloading. This will actually work. And then I'm sure you know what will happen after that. It, it will uh, reboot, blah, blah, blah. You, later on, iTunes will probably say, oh, there's a 3.1.3 upgrade. Do you want to upgrade? No, don't upgrade. Um, it, it's just gay. I don't even know. It's literally for the patch of jailbreaking iPods, basically. Um, anyway, also just one last thing. Um, if you've updated uh, iTunes to 9.1, I think it is, or whatever the new iTunes is, uh, Black Rain um, will have some problems um, with uh, like syncing the device and working with iTunes, basically. And all you need to do for that is download Black Breeze. Just type it in Google and it'll come up. Just type in Black Breeze. You've got to make sure you have Black Rain uh, installed as well. You just put, so you've got the ordinary Black Rain which will run and this Black Breeze is what you need to download and all you do is double click Black Breeze. It will load. And then you do fix my rain. You just click that. And then you find black rain. Which I've actually already deleted it. But you just click that. And you click open. And then it will just um, choose. It will just say where you want to save the new one. Which will um, automatically call it black rain fixed. And so yeah, just and then just use that one instead of the normal black grain, and then that works absolutely fine with uh, iTunes, and you are sorted. Um, so yeah, just just to show you that I am jailbroken. Got uh, there's quite a new range of Cydia things you can do here. You can go right and left and down and up. Uh, same with the bar as well. Um, I'll just go to settings so you can see what it is running on. So, I don't know if you can see that. Version 3.1.2, 7011. Uh, it is MC. And uh, yeah, that's all you need to know, really. Um, if you have any problems, let me know and I'll try my best to sort them out. Um, rate, comment and subscribe, please, please, please. Um, and check out my other videos. Tell me what you think. Uh, if you've got any other suggestions, let me know. Hope helped.